Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for this very special video. Um, this evening, me and a group of friends will be opening these four beers, all and probably a few more to be honest, all in the name of the online initiative what was put together by Andy Mogg and Mark Dredge. What it is called Open It. It's all in the name of encouraging people to open up those bottles of beer that you've had in your cupboard for no reason. You've been holding on to them for a rainy day and this is an idea just to no more hanging on to these precious gems. Just get them open and drink the beer and enjoy it with friends. Right, so this is, uh, we're drinking Flying Dog Dog Schwarz. We've got um, the co-editor of Hopzine, Matt. So Matt, what did you think? Well, here it is, the dog schwarz. You may have remember this, you may have seen the picture of Rob holding this up. It's before we started Hopzine we tried this and uh, it's a welcome return. It's a fantastic little dark beer. Just the right amount of smoke. Uh, it's not as dominating as like a Rausch beer, but um, it's lovely. It's like a, it does what it says on the tin, a nice black beer with a touch of smoke. It's just Gorgeous with a bit of cheese. Don't get a smoked cheese. You don't want to overpower the smoke, but it's lovely. No, thanks, Matt. And Martin, uh, mbell739 on Twitter. What do you think? Your first, Probably your first experience with Dag Schwarz? It is, yes. Um, as uh, Matt said, it's, it's uh, quite smoky. Licorice. Uh, very enjoyable. First time I've had this. Uh, I'll definitely uh, try to get hold of some of this. Because it's uh, very agreeable. Nice one. Uh, oh, what is it, Martin? <laughs> Mbell seven three nine. Oh, it's, Twitter tank. It's a barley wine by Green Flash. Uh, it's right up my street. It's very, very packed full of flavour, or flavourful, and. Um, drink this all day although it's probably not a good idea because it's 10.9% <laughs> but I'm enjoying it immensely thank you well, Rob's here with us as well he's going to just give us a few notes on the, the Green Flash barley wine I like it I mean I've had a few from Green Flash now I've had the Imperial IPA which you can see the kind of, you can see the, the Rob the family um, for me it tastes quite a lot of like um, Sierra Nevada Bigfoot Maybe not as harsh, maybe not as quite as fruity, but probably more hoppy, a little bit more fresh. Um, you'd never think it was like uh, ten point nine. I'm really enjoying it, and you can see I haven't much left. So roll on the next one. Well said. Next beer we've got is uh, Michaela's um, Texas Ranger Barrel Age Chipotle Chili. Porter, I just want to get people's initial reactions on this. So, first up, Matt. First of all, I love the label, by the way. I know this is like a very superficial thing, but it's the classic, it's the classic Mikel. Is it Mikkel? Is it? Is that the guy that's slightly featured on it? Anyway, it is. Yeah, it's the man himself. Um, but right, it smells. It is like. I don't know if you remember those old Vista adverts, but. Very like, very like meaty and, and it's kind of gravy like smell to it. It's great. It just kind of reminds me of those old Bisto adverts for some reason. Oh. So is there much chilli in it? It's barrel aged, the, this version. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. I like kind of meaty, sort of spicy, meaty things. And this is like... Um, it is like a like a like a spicy like jerky type flavour. Oh. It's really nice. Are you getting much chili? Yeah, nice. It's like a yeah. As a chili fan. That's nice. It's 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 nice. It's not over too overpowering, actually it just has hit the back of the throat there, but it's good. It's a really good balanced beer, and it's like nothing I've ever tried before, and that alone is is worth. Oh, good. It's worth. It. It's worth it. Let's move on to Becky for her initial reactions. Hello. Uh, Mikla, Texas Ranger. Yeah. Come on, Becky. 
getting much chilly in that? A bit. A very little bit. Well, you need to add more. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it. It's very uh, thick. <laughs> Viscous. <laughs> it's nice. Thank you. Over to Martin. Well, I'm really looking forward to it by now. There's uh, been a lot of build-up on this. Yeah, yeah there has. Yeah, it's... Uh, the, the, the smell is unbelievable. It's, it's quite different to what I've ever tasted before. It's really, really meaty. Like Matt said, just like gravy. Maybe a bit of like Marmite or Bovril. Um, <laughs> nice beefy drink. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to crack on. Go on, this. get in I'm it. Gonna, I'm just going to go for it. That's really nice. It's not as chilly as I thought it would be. Oh. I've heard it, there I've is a bit of a chilly, chilly warmth. All right, I might have had a bit of I'm sure you, there. I'm sure oh, your cheeks will be nice glowing in a minute. warming inside, I'm finding. <laughs> but it's really, really tasty. Definitely, definitely something I'd like to try a bit more. But of the rarity, obviously. There's probably only a few made of these. Not many. Oh. Yeah, can I but just... it's, it's an absolute triumph. Um, really tasty. Uh, oh, fantastic! Man. So I was you want to say there is but there is a bit of like got a bit there's a bit of chocolateiness to it as well, but it does like I say it does remind me of like that kind of chili spicy sort of jerky chili built on type flavour. And I think billing itself as like kind of a Texas barrel aged beer, it's probably right on the money. Ah, very nice. And finally, Esther, what do you All think? Right. Be quick, cause Martin okay, and Matt have talked for ages. Not that it, not this isn't a bad thing, but it kind of smells a little bit like nail varnish. Oh. And not a horrible nail varnish, but the kind of that tangy. It is really meaty, like you say, but the kind of that tang that you get with some kind of nail varnishes. Yeah, I'm getting that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Very meaty, quite thick. Really good, like for a really roasty as well. Good for a winter's night. Mm. Definitely would have good for a kind of cold night in front of the fire. Oh. I, think I, think bit, I think it's a bit woody as well. Mm. Yes. A bit woody, barky kind of thing. Oh, but delicious. Really delicious. Well, super. I look forward to trying it as well, because this video has been four, four and a half minutes and I haven't tried it yet. So. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. So, final beer of the night for Open It. We've got a bottle of uh, Hebrew Jubilation 12. Martin, what did you think? It's great. Really, really good. Great on the nose. As you can see, it's nearly gone. Plenty of alcohol happening there. Um, it's twelve percent, but it doesn't taste that. It doesn't. High. Fruity. But it's just great stuff. Nice one. It's really good. Matt, a big fan of uh, the Schmaltz Brewery, the Hebrew beers. You see, it is, it is strong, and I, I don't think it is. It does taste that strong. It's just we've like we've been we've been having lots of other strong beers tonight. But um, some cheese. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, the cheese, please. I really, I really like the Hebrew beers. I think this is great. This is kind of like a really dark, um, really dark, really strong sort of harvest ale with lots of like sort of this culmination of all these dark. Um, beer flavours it's, it's, it's great it's really nice um, for me tonight the, the Michaela has just just offered something a bit a bit different it's that one there that's all <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's offered something else which has been really fantastic but but Hebrew yeah another another strong beer from Schmaltz this is really really nice um, I'm really, really happy to have tried this and especially tonight so yeah, I'm just going to do it. Oh, did you mention about the marzipan? Yeah, uh, marzipan aroma. Great cakes as well. Awesome. You called it on the marzipan. There's definitely, there's definitely marzipan both on those. There also is on the um, on the taste too. I think there is a bit.